Hello everyone, Mino Haxer here, bringing you guys a new commentary with Nami. And this game I'm going to be running for Runes and Masteries, uh, I believe the same uh, setup I used for Sona as well, my Women Don't Need No Man Masteries with uh, Armor Red, Armor Yellow, MR Blue, uh, flat HP coins, and then 11360 Masteries. I'm only running the setup because I'm against a Twitch Sona lane, and I'm very afraid of the Twitch. So hopefully uh, I can survive the Twitch Burst and the Sona Burst. I'm also laning with the Vein, so we have to be kind of careful because all I have to do is just get the Vein a few early kills, and hopefully we can um, make it through this the early game because Vein's early game is really, really bad. So we'll see what happens. Um, I don't want to play too aggressively right now and go deep warding because our jungler hasn't connected yet. So I'm just going to stay a little bit farther back and just kind of sit tight while we wait. So um, I, just a random announcement. I know a lot of people have been asking me about streams. And I know I do try to stream normally on um, Mondays. But yesterday, uh, I wasn't able to quite have enough time to stream because I had a lot of like meetings and work and stuff like that. So I didn't... So unfortunately, I was not able to... Oh shoot. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, shoot. This is not good. Oh my god. Ugh. Fuck bye. <laughs> That's not good. So basically that fight right there. Um Like I my bubble only landed on Sona and unfortunately the Sona exhausted the Vayne and Vayne just straight up just couldn't like do anything after that. And then we tried to bail out, but like Twitch is like level one is just really, really strong if it gets off a lot of the auto attacks. So I'm gonna stay here and accompany the the Vi and help her break down that uh that blue because like, there's no point in going to lane since I can't even survive the lane anyways, even if I was here by myself. So I decided to just help him out since I had nothing to do. That was really bad, because we just gave Twitch a free kill, but he hasn't quite spent the money yet, which is okay. We're just... the only thing bad right now is that we're behind on the XP, so... We just have to be a little bit more mindful of that. So I'll try to help the Vayne last hit the best I can, because... I know that it's kind of hard to last hit on Vayne right now, because I don't think... I'm not sure if our auto attacks will be enough to take down the creeps so I believe they just went back now so um twitch is probably gonna buy like a door and displayed or something like that and that won't be too good because now they're gonna be a little bit farther ahead than us and Vayne is actually doing a really smart move right now and she's uh freeze trying to freeze the lane the best as she can because the best way to deny your enemies CS is to try to freeze the lane as best as possible so that the creeps are going more towards our side but unfortunately, since they just pushed the, to the tower before, and then they recalled, now our wave is going to be slowly pushing towards their side, which sucks, because now um, we're, we're going to put a, be putting ourselves in a little bit more danger when we're fighting. So we have to be a little bit more careful. I'm going to go ahead and level up my W, because uh, when you hit level 2 with Nami, after you first land your... Uh, after you, you first land your... Uh, or when you first level up your Q, um, if you want to keep playing aggressively, then level up your E and you can E your E to carry, but otherwise it's better to just level up your W so that way you have a little bit more sustain. Because right now, like, Vayne is, like, really, really vulnerable. Oh dear. And yeah, Twitch did buy another Doran's Blade, so he's a Doran's Blade up. But now I hit level 3, which is okay. So basically, any time that the enemies are close, I'm going to try my best to, uh... Ugh, Vayne should not be going in for CS like that. She's wasting her time. So I'm gonna go ahead and ward that brush right there. Hope I really just want to try to bait that Sona into putting a pink there, because I really want to place a pink on this brush, but she's not falling for it, which sucks. So I'll just go ahead and let the wave push. And I'll actually just go ahead and green this too. So now um, the wave is going to be pushing towards us because Sona has been spamming her Qs and some of the Qs have been hitting the creeps, which is good. Because right now we just need to keep on turtling like this until Vayne hits level 6. And oh my gosh, Vayne is, just, ugh, Vayne is just taking so much poke. This is like really bad. Vayne is, like, I don't know why the Vayne just tried to go in for a CS right there. Vayne should not be going for any CS right now because it's like not worth it. Like she's just going to get poked down really hard. So like there's really no point in doing that.
So. Okay, that's good. I was gonna say, like, I swear to god, if the red buff didn't kill him, that would have been really sad. But I was hoping the red buff would, and it did, so my calculations were not off. So that's good. So Vi came down for a free easy kill on Twitch, which is really, really great. So that set the Twitch a little bit farther back. Um, but not by much, though, because Twitch is still very much farther ahead of Vayne. And unfortunately, the lane is now pushing once again towards the other side. And I see Vi is coming back for a gank. But I don't believe the river's warded, so... Interesting. Anyways. I'll see if I can slow down. No, I can't. It's okay. Oh, uh, we should just push the lane. Because there's already a very big wave, and I want to go back and shop, so... I'm going to go ahead and start auto... Help Vayne auto-attack these creeps down. As a sign that, you know, I kind of want to go back to shop. And I don't want to fight. Man, I really, really want to go back and shop, but I just have to sit here until our lane keeps on pushing. But I have a really... St since I'm actually a very high level right now, so my W is actually going to be doing a lot of damage if I can land it on lots of people. Oh. That's not good. So I'll go ahead and E myself out. I'm not going to flash because I know that they can't kill me because Zack wasted his Q on the vein. So we'll just go ahead and recall right now. Because we have, there, there's too many of them there, so it's best if we just go back. So I haven't spent any of my pinks yet, so I'll just go ahead and buy more pinks. Or one green, and some more pots. <sighs> I want to save my pinks for when, if Twitch... I want to save at least one pink, so when Twitch, like, fights us, uh, I have one extra pink ward, so to see him uh, while he's invisible, which is going to be pretty helpful. And you just have the lane, which is, like, fine. Like, we can't do much about that, since the Zac has presence here. So, oh well. We're just going to have to just let them shove it, and then hopefully we won't be too much farther behind in CS. And that's good that Zack came down here, because now Vi went to go gank mid, and she doesn't have to fear a counter gank from Zack, so she can just go ahead and keep on pushing. So, Vayne is still level 4, which sucks. And, um, but I'm actually uh, a lot higher level up, so I'm going to hit level 6 very, very soon, and that would be very helpful, because even though they all hit level, level 6 before Vayne does, like, now that I have my ultimate, I can disengage very, very easily. So, that's really helpful. I'm also not going to ward this Tribush just yet, because, um, I don't think that Tribush is warded, actually. So, I'm just not even going to bother. And plus, if I show that I've warded that brush, Sona still has a pink left, and she's going to depink it. And I don't want to waste my pink on that. And they actually want to go do clones. They didn't even go back to shop, which is cool. So I'll go ahead and E the vein to give her a little bit of extra damage. But um, I don't know if this is warded. No, it's not. I dropped a pink there just in case. That That's potentially warded. So we'll see what happens. I'll see if I can bait this out. Do they know? I think they know. Yeah, they definitely know. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna tsunami right now. I'm gonna throw one thing right there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that was great. That was, thank god the Renekton stopped him. That was excellent. Twitch flashed in aggressively because he thought the Shen would follow up with the Renekton, but, um, the, or the Shen would follow up, but the Renekton stopped the Shen, which is absolutely brilliant. That was a great play by Renekton. I was so afraid to, and if that Shen came, that would have been game over for us, because there was there would have been no way we could survive all that. That's an excellent, excellent play. Okay. Oh dear. Oh my god. Okay, thank god, the Vayne barriered. Wow, I was gonna say, if the Vayne died to that tower, like that would have been really embarrassing. So we did pop the Zac, um passive, which is good. So I'll go ahead and recall right now. <laughs> back no passive that's very very good thank god i think that just won the lane back for us back for us because now vane caught up in levels now which is great and she's not that far behind which is excellent so this is like really really good for us so i'm very glad that Vi came down like that was really good teamwork like i can't stress that enough that was so helpful so i couldn't even predict that the shen was not gonna come so um i'll see what sona does right here she does pink it so she does use her only pink ward right here, so I'm going to go ahead right now 
and deep ink that since Vayne is killing creeps right now and they're gonna go ahead and do golems I believe so I'm just gonna ping to let them know Twitch and Sona are going I believe Twitch and Sona are gonna take the red so I'll go ahead and deep ink that since I know nobody's gonna kill me right now cool now we have uh, Dragon Control once again, and Sona actually spent her money on a Kage's instead of a Philosopher's Stone, and that you only want to do that if you want to play a lot more aggressively as Sona, and that's usually good if you're like very ahead. Oh, Diana's here. I'm gonna go ahead and give her an E boost on Diana. Ooh, I got the Twitch with my bubble. I'm gonna go ahead and W. Excellent. That's perfect. That was a great setup by me. Like I saw that, so I, I knew that the Diana could handle the Sona. And so I decided to do my best to bubble the Twitch, and I barely got him, which is good. So I'll go ahead and try to um, help the Vi kill this dragon. I'll give her heal as well. Cool. And she's not even. And Vi doesn't even. I don't. I don't think. If, oh yeah, she had a smite. I was gonna say like I was wondering why she didn't smite, but good thing that she like the Zach didn't try to smite steal it. Otherwise, it would have been really bad. But Zach no passive. I'll, rem I'll remind the, D the Diana that Zack has no passive, so she can play very aggressively like that. Cool. Oh man, the Zack almost died. That's very unfortunate. But oh well. <sighs> Thank god we came back from this lane. I was very worried that we were going to keep falling back farther and farther behind, but um, there's actually a very good play by the Vayne to just keep on playing passively and hang in there. Because now Vayne is Bilgewater, Berserkers, double Dorans, and now she's actually ahead of the Twitch now, because Twitch hasn't even had the Berserkers yet, so the dragon really helped us a lot, and now the lane is very, very even, and if anything, it's going to be even better for us, because I'm actually doing a lot better than Sona right now, because I have a Sidestone, and she, uh, she doesn't even have a Philosopher's Stone yet. Well, she has a Gold Rotem, but like she's not even close to getting a Sidestone yet, which is really nice. So, I do see the Vi is within our vicinity, so I'll go ahead and start warding up the area. Maybe I can bait something. So I'll go ahead and ward this right here and see what happens. Maybe Sona has a pink. I'm not really sure. But I'll go ahead and spend my second ward right there at the edge. Just in case like um Zach wants to like walk in through here. Oh Zach is actually top, never mind. So we'll see. So I'll go ahead and place another ward like this. And let's see if this the Sona's gonna fall for this bait. <laughs> I think they know it. That's that's worded, probably. I feel like that part is worded because um, there's, they just backed off for no reason. Vi didn't even move. So I guess Vi wants to dive him. So I'll go ahead and help her. It is kind of risky, so... Wait, oh dear. I think Diana might be dead. Yeah, and there is Shenult too, so we have to be careful about that. Ooh. Dang, Diana's shield barely saved him. I don't know why we're all going mid. I'm just following my team because I have nothing to do. Oh geez, that's very aggressive. Yeah, but once again, May knows that the Zac passive should still be down, somewhat down, so that was great that she decided to go in on that. So Zac does have doesn't have any more flash. Unfortunately, I believe we're gonna take down our bot tower. But in exchange, we will be taking mid. And I think mid taking mid tower is a lot better than taking bot tower because taking mid tower will actually get open up a lot more vision for you and stuff like that. So that's cool. So I'll go ahead and stall the way for Diana. I'll give the farm to Diana. Oh. Oh dear. Oh jeez, that was a really good flash by the Twitch to dodge the bubble. Um, but I barely, I just gave a heal to Diana. I believe that was enough to keep her alive, which is cool. So I Twitch has no flash as well. So I'll see if I can bait out this Twitch to coming out again. Oh no, Twitch re recalled. <laughs> Never mind. I see the Twitch recalling. So that's cool. So yeah, this is excellent. We're very ahead right now. Vi is kind of jungling really well as well. And I'll go ahead and ward this brush right here. And I'll actually go ahead and ward. I'll drop my last sight ward in this deep brush right here because now that there's no tower here, there isn't really much of a threat, which is really nice. So I see Diana's mid. Hopefully maybe I can set something up for her. Hmm. I'm not sure if Vlad saw me. Maybe he didn't see me. Who knows? But 
I'll just stay right here. Because I know Diana will protect me. She owes me one for like because I saved her from before. So Santa's right there. Let's see if let's see if they're gonna go in. I feel like this is warded somewhere. Yeah, this that is. Yeah, I was wondering like they stood there for a really long time. Like something's really fishy. If you see your enemy moving like that, you know something's wrong, because like there's no reason a Sona would be sitting there for like ten seconds with a Zack. Like that doesn't make any sense. Oh, and she just reworded that. Okay, cool. I'll go ahead and take that down. Ooh. Oh, I got a bubble on her. Excellent. Let's see. Oh, they got that kill on the poor Sona. <laughs> see if Diana can get anything. Nope. Oh well. I think we should just push mid right now. All five of us are here, and Vayne's getting bobbed right now. So I think right now is the best opportunity to just push mid, because I think at this point it's too late to defend top. And we can always just force Shen to come down if we force him to use his ult at some point, so it's okay. Yeah. Die or Vlad, die. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was so scary. I almost died right there. I'll go ahead and throw a uh, little thingy for him, but I'm going to speed boost myself because I need to live. <laughs> I don't care about this Renekton. He can go back in and I'll give him W. Cool. Dang, that was so close. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, this is just decimation. So, yeah, so you basically saw that after they jumped in on me, um, I saw the Vlad pool and he had a Shen shield as well. So I decided to flash and then immediately Tsunami because I knew they were going to keep engaging on me because I was the lowest target right there. So since I knew they were going to focus on me, I threw Tsunami immediately followed by a bubble. And then that was just barely enough. To, and I actually landed the bubble on both, I think the Vlad and the Zac. Or was it two of them? And I stalled enough time for me to get away, which is really, really awesome. So that was a really good play on my part. Oh my goodness, that was pretty scary. Not gonna lie. I didn't think I was actually gonna live through that, but I got really, really lucky. It's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and buy my Oracles. And I'll wait for, the, for them to kill the dragon. And then, uh, I still just buy parts for a Chalice, because I'm really far ahead right now, and I... I yeah, pretty much spend my money on anything I want at this point. <laughs> so, I'll go ahead and do that. Sure as the tides. Like, we're so far ahead. This is crazy. We're all doing very well. Yeah, and now that I have Oracles, I can keep denying the vision. And Sona, you know, she doesn't have a Sight Zone yet. So, every ward that I kill from her is going to be very painful for her. Because she's going to have to be spending so much money to try to keep up with warding. But it's all going to keep getting denied by me, which is really cool. So Renekton's playing fairly aggressively. Um, I'll just let him be. I'll just go ahead and start dewarding right now. Like, we have complete control over jungle at this point because we're so far ahead. Like we can just keep on killing stuff. I saw Zach right there. Hello, Zach. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's not good. Oh dear. I'll go ahead and ignite the Zach. Produces life steal. Oh my goodness, that was so scary. I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> Once again, my team it helped backs me up. So note that I didn't immediately tsunami yet because I didn't think it was a good opportunity to tsunami yet, and I wanted to keep um, baiting them into thinking they had enough, uh, like enough control to kill me. So I just purposely just did not use any spells at all. I just pretended like I was a poor little fish that was about to die, and then I just kind of crushed their dreams. <laughs> oh no, Vayne DC. That's not good. I don't think that should affect us too much. Um, I think we can still win this game, even with that vein. Oh. I thought the vein was gonna punch forward, but. Eh. Oh well. I'm a little bit low on mana, so. I'm not sure if I want to engage. Oh, I didn't even drop a ward here. I thought I dropped a ward here. I'll drop one right now. I'll go ahead and give her an E just because I have nothing to do right now. And I did see Sona just counter ward that, so I know that's pinked. But it's kind of risky to go in right now because I feel like it's going to be another bait. So I'll wait a few seconds before I go in. 
Maybe if Renekton shows himself top or something like that, then I'll go in, because I have no idea where they are right now. And so, we'll see. Okay, so I see Zack is up there, so I'll just go ahead and go in right now. Like, if Vlad comes finds me, YOLO. <laughs> I'll just run away right now. Also, note that every time I'm, like, running away from a very scary situation, I'm always eating myself. That's because I'm just giving myself that very tiny little speed boost. And just that little speed boost can, like, be really helpful, because you never know if, like, someone's going to be within the area. Oh, dear. I don't know if I can save this Diana. Ah, oh, damn. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. I couldn't quite get her in time. I think if, even if I reacted, like, if I went bottom immediately, I don't think I would have been able to save her, because, like, I would have to run, like, all the way around, or, like, down here, and that would put myself in a lot of danger. Oh, shoot. There's a Shen right here. Uh... Ah. Oh, Ooh, cool, I ended my bubble, because I predicted his taunt. And now I can run away. Yeah. I don't think I could do any damage to him. <laughs> so I'll just, like, stay right here and just, like, try to get some EXP, I guess, because I have nothing to do right now. I can't really, like, go help my team, because Shen is going to kill me, so... I'll just, like, sit here and just soak some EXP up. And, I'm, and honestly, right now, we just have to wait for the Vayne to come back. I have faith in the Vayne. Cool. Yeah, like, dude, like, is, is there a god in this world? Is, like, Riot listening to me right now? Because, I mean, like, did I just not say I have trust this Vayne will come back? Like, my gosh, this is, like, my prayers have been answered. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, I'll go ahead and last hit this the best I can. Yeah. Nami's, uh, Nami's uh, last hitting animation is actually really nice, so it's actually pretty easy to get last hits on her. Like, God, anything is better than that horrendous Fiddlesticks last hitting. Oh my god, I can't get over how bad last hitting was with Fiddlesticks. That was so terrible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hmm. Man. I haven't died a single time this game. I'm really proud of myself. Usually I die, like, a lot in most games. Like, last game, oh, that was awful. I died so many times in Splitscrank, but this game, I, died, I, I didn't die at all in Nami, which is really nice. Surprisingly, I should be dying a lot more, because that's just my nature when I play support. I tend to play really aggressively, but I'm really surprised I'm not dying too much. Are they chasing him? Oh, okay, Tsunami right now. Perfect. That was a good Tsunami. Oh, that was a good crescendo, actually. Oh, jeez. That was a really good crescendo. That, like, got all of us trapped in the Twitch, like, I think auto-attacked all of us for quite a bit. Which sucked. But I think we can still win this fight. Um, we're really strong. I think they can end it. Yeah, they can end it. Like Vayne is Vayne, I think Vayne can just run in and just start killing them. Diana is also very, very strong. So oh well. Unfortunately, I what actually they probably should have done is that I wanted to get a little bit in closer in to drop a ward in the brush so we could see them, which probably would have been really helpful for my team, but like, I was already, like, kind of caught in the middle, like, right over here, and if I kind of moved any closer, I probably would have died really fast. But I did die anyway, so I probably should have done that. Or at least flashed a lot earlier to get uh, into a much more optimal position. So that was kind of my bad. I didn't really play that fight quite well. But the Tsunami worked really well because, like, they kind of backed off a little bit after the Tsunami, and I bought Renekton a little bit more time to survive, which is good, so... Can't say I played that fight completely terribly, but... Oh well. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and try to drop a word right here, and I'll help the Diana get away by speeding her up. They're playing very aggressively. I feel like they're gonna go for a dragon after this, so I'm kind of warding the area. Oh dear. Well, I'm gonna try to CC lock that Zack down. Oh my gosh. I got this. No! Oh. <laughs> yeah, my auto attack. <laughs> wow, I can't believe my auto attack got that kill. That's really funny. But I kind of wasted a roll for that, but... Nah, oh well, that's cool. So, you saw right there that, um, that was a very interesting fight. So, uh, I decided to, um, 
I, so I saw that Vayne was getting kind of low as the fight was progressing and that she was getting focused very hard. So what I did is that I used my Tsunami only on the Zac because I just needed her to survive for as long as possible. And then, um, <laughs> and then uh, once um, the Zac got hit, finished hit and getting hit by the Tsunami, I just followed up with a bubble. And that bought Vayne a lot of time actually, which is really helpful. <laughs> it's not my fault, I swear. <laughs> I'm just slap hitting like everything. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. <laughs> uh, so I have a lot of money right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy all of that. And I wish I had enough for an oracle, so it would have been like absolutely perfect. But I'll, instead, I'll just sell my green and buy two things instead, which I guess is okay. My gosh, Renekton is so strong. This is crazy. I think they should back off. They should back off right now. Oh, Diana. Diana went in way too aggressively. Like, I know Diana's very strong, but she shouldn't go in 1v5. Like, I don't think, I don't think she can survive that. Oh, what is Renekton doing? Oh, Renekton. Renekton, please. Oh, Vi. Oh, what? Vi? I just went in for no reason, I also. I got a Tsunami right now. Ah, oh, dang, I missed my bubble on him. Oh my god, stop going. Uh, Diana, please play safer. <laughs> like, Diana just went, Diana just did not respect this team at all. She just, like, went in, like, 1v5. Like, this is bad. Like, they're gonna take a lot of in towers for this. But Vayne cannot get taunted right now. If she gets taunted, she's dead. Oh my goodness. I can't believe they're taking so much crap. That was really bad. We lost three turrets for that. That was such a bad trade. Right, once again, they played way too aggressively for no reason at all. Like, they, like even if you're this far ahead, like, you shouldn't be so, I guess, like, overconfident. Like, you should just play it safe. Like, I still think we'll win this game, but, like, once again, like, they shouldn't play so hyper-aggressively. There was no need for that Diana to go in 1v5 at all. So, yeah. I guess I'll just go ahead and ward up the area. So, I don't think they're doing Baron, so... I'll go ahead and ward this. And ward this. Oh, there's a pink. What? We're backing off? What? Okay. I guess we're backing off. Why no do it? I think we should have done it. I think they weren't even close to coming. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> we could have done it. We really could have done that. Um. Oh, what the f what? Okay, Renekton's just going in, so I'll just Tsunami. And just let my team charge in. Uh. So, oh, jeez. Vayne is just getting pummeled right now. Okay, we got the Twitch though, so I guess it's okay. But still, like, my team is so low right now. Oh my gosh. What is my team doing right now? What are you guys doing? I'm, like, pretty much dead. What are you guys doing? <laughs> like... Like, Renekton, you shouldn't have gone in. So Ren the problem with that fight was that Renekton just went in for, like, no reason at all. Like, there was absolutely zero reason why he should have fought there. Like, they had all their cooldowns back up. Like, there was absolutely zero reason why we should have fought. Like, Renekton just went in, like, 1v5, already lost half his HP by the time the team started. And then when the team started, like, there was so much chaos going on. Like, Vi just went, Vi and Renekton just went straight for the Twitch. But, like, did, Vi didn't even ult for some odd reason. I don't know why. So, like, it took forever to kill the Twitch. And then by the time that they finished killing the Twitch, like, Vayne already died. Because, I mean... I was kind of half. I I, I admit I kind of hesitated whether or not I should go in to to peel for the vein or just help them go kill the twitch. Because at that time I helped them go kill the twitch because I was just busy giving them like the E and the heals and stuff like that. But man, like they just I, like I don't know why they're playing so aggressively for no reason. 
Like, they, I think Zach is, the Renekton and, like, Vi and Diana are just getting way too cocky. Like, this is not good. Like, we can't keep playing like this at all. Or as always, we will actually lose this game. Yeah, we should be fighting right now. They have no Twitch. I'm gonna Tsunami right now. Ah, oh, man, that's unfortunate. Ah, oh, dude, I missed, I missed how my bubble. Damn it. Fuck. That's really bad. If I had hit my bubble right there, that would have been a free kill on Vlad. I completely mistimed it. I thought the Zonia would have popped out a lot sooner. Not as a lot sooner, a lot later. Oh my god, you've got to be joking. Zach has a Zonia too? What the heck? Oh, I like double worded that on accident. Oh my gosh. We're so low right now. Oh my god. We need to heal like right now. Oh no, they're gonna go for Baron. Shoot. I'll drop a ward right now. Let me try my best to stall them. Yeah, I don't think I can stall them actually. Okay, so I guess we got a free kill right there. Possibly more. Okay, well Twitch just... Damn it, my ult didn't quite reach him. But we're all at very high HP, which I guess is good. Um, Is I gonna ult someone? Like... And I don't understand my team right now. There you go, and so am. Oh my gosh! I did not know the Twitch was behind us this entire time. These guys are just crazy. What are they doing? Oh my gosh. I don't know what we're doing right now. Like, duh, I don't know what to do. Like, my team just keeps fighting for no reason. Like, that fight before, they all had to go back because they're all so low. And then, like, they just decided, and then they Baron, and we couldn't stop them because everyone had to go heal. Oh my gosh, I really don't know what to do at this point. Like, they're catching up so much right now. But I do admit they did catch up a lot because the vein disconnected, which is kind of not entirely our fault. So we'll just have to hope that... Like, even though, like, the score, we have a lot more kills than them, like, it really doesn't matter because Bane, like, lost a lot of CS, and they caught up, like, super, super heavily just from that fight. So, once again, we have to kill the Twitch because Twitch is, like, their main source of damage. We have to kill Twitch. Like, Vi needs to ult the Twitch. Like, like every single fight. Like, I don't know why she hasn't been ulting the Twitch, which has been really frustrating. Like, Vi needs to ult her. I don't know what the Vi is doing at this point. Because she's been ulting, like, random people. Like, a Vlad that just pulls and, like, the Sona. So, she, like, she needs to prioritize, like, who her target is. Because she's the only one that can, like, Vi, that's, like, Vi's strength. She can target, like, anyone she wants. So, she needs to be targeting the person that's, like, the most the MVP of the other team right now. And I've played with that Twitch many, many times. I believe he's on my friends list, actually. Because he's, like, a really, really... He's a really good Twitch. So, like, we have to be careful. So, I'll start dropping a few wards around the area. To, uh, hopefully get some more vision on them. Um, only the Vlad and the Shen has the Baron buff. But still, like, they're pushing very, very heavily towards it. But I think they're going to look to end this game right now. So... Oh, gee, what is Vayne doing? <laughs> that was a really dumb poke by Vayne, because Vlad is just going to heal it off anyway. <sighs> what the hell? Oh my gosh. I'm just going to sit here and peel for the Vayne. Okay, good. I made the correct decision to peel for her. Ooh, I got a double bubble. That was excellent. 
Oh my god, I thank god I finally landed a good bevel. I finally did it, my god. <laughs> yeah, so I made the correct decision in that fight. I had two choices. I could either keep pursuing the follow the vein or the Vi and Renekton or appeal for the vein. And I just I decided, you know what, this time I'm gonna hope that Vi actually like ults the Twitch. And she did. They took down the Twitch like immediately, which is excellent. Because now um this is gonna give us uh an inhibitor. And I believe we have to back off after this. Just Aurelia the vein out of the way. So I told my team to just back, take buffs. Because that's what you should do usually. If you know you can't end the game, but you like have a very strong advantage, um like we should just take their buffs, like scout for their buffs and see what happens. Um I can't take Dragon by myself, so I'll just recall right now. So that was a great fight. So yeah, I appealed for the vein, and just me standing with the vein um bought her enough time so that she could live throughout the Zach damage. Because Zach actually does a lot of damage this game. He's um, shoot, I don't have enough for an Oracle, that sucks. Um, cause Zack, uh, went for Azonia, so she does quite a bit of damage, so, um, I have to, like, keep, like, I shouldn't underestimate that Zack damage, so I peel for the Vayne, the Vayne lived, which is excellent, cause if the Vayne lives, like, that's, that's great for us, cause even if they don't kill, even if they only kill the Twitch, but, like, the Vi and Renekton dies, like, having the Vayne alive was enough to win us the team fight, cause Vayne is still very strong, so, that's great that the Vayne stayed alive, and it helped her, and it helped peel. So, this is kind of risky, so, um, I know the Zack is coming right now, but, oh, but I'll, like, I'll stand in the very back. And Vi just smited it, skips, so we got the free dragon. Free money. So we should go in for that. I'll go ahead and Tsunami right now, also. Oh crap, we don't have the, uh... I'm gonna bubble. Ooh. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. That was really close. <sighs> that was so close. Oh my gosh. Okay. There are a lot of things that happened in that fight. So... Um, I'll explain it after this game. Let's, let me just end this game right now. That was a very stressful game because we almost lost that game because we, we were throwing really, really hard. Oh my gosh. Oh dear. But we came out on top. <sighs> yeah, it's game. They can't respawn in time. Yay! GG. Okay, so what happened that fight was, um, like, I don't know why, like, the Vi was just dan- Okay, so the Vi was just dancing with the Zack for some reason, like, I don't even understand. Oh my gosh. And, like, oh, that was just so funny, like, I, like, I didn't even think that would work. Like, the Vi just stood there dancing with the Zack, and then all of a sudden Vi just ulted him. That was just so funny, and that just started the fight, because what happened was that, after the fight started, um, after, as soon as the fight ult ended, I bubbled the Zac, and then I threw Tsunami after the bubble landed, because one, that would keep the Zac CC'd, and two, I knew that the team was going to come and help him, so that would pretty much stop the team from helping him dead in their tracks, and I believe it hit everyone that was coming from that brush, which is really cool. So after that Tsunami ended, I gave like some allies, my E and my W, and then I saw Twitch was attacking from the back, and by having max CDR, my bubble came up really, really fast. So I, what I tried to do was that I tried to, I tried to flash bubble the the Twitch, because you saw that fight that I actually didn't have my flash anymore because I decided to flash bubble the Twitch, and I that I actually like by the time like I flashed the bubble, like Twitch actually just died because Renekta just completely shut him down with the Diana. So my bubble actually ended up hitting the Sona for some reason, which I guess is fine, because like, they just killed Sona right afterwards, because Sona was bubbled. And then, you know, in the midst of all that chaos, like, Renekton was really, really low, so I threw a Crucible on him. I used my Crucible that fight, and uh, that Crucible was really good, because that kept Renekton for, like, maybe, like, one more second. And, you know, they once again, they had to keep spending more spells on a Renekton. And then once the Renekton finally fell, that gave Vayne... You know, that those hits that they spent killing the Renekton bought Vayne enough time to keep on hitting. And then you saw that fight, Vayne, like, lived with, like, 100 HP at the end of that. 
and that was really, really good. I missed my bubble on the Shen that was going for the Vayne, which sucked, but it didn't really matter because Vayne still survived regardless whether or not I hit the bubble, which is really good. So, god, that was such a chaotic fight, my god, and... Luckily, we won this game. I'm really happy because that, like, we just we just kept throwing so hard for some reason, and that was really frustrating. But we ended up we ended up, you know, winning that fight, which is really good, and that won us the game. So I guess the lesson to be learned is that, you know, even though you have an advantage, um, you shouldn't just, you know, get really like cocky and you know think that oh, just because you know I'm winning by like we have like 20 kills up on them that we're gonna win this game because you know you never know what could happen like you know the vein disconnected like a lot of other like crap happened that like just us throwing repeatedly so never think that a game is won just because like you have such a landslide lead like that's why you almost never see me surrender a lot of games even though like a lot of people put up the surrender button it's because like I generally think that we there's always a chance to win a game you know, regardless of whether or not you're being you're, you're like losing by a lot because you never know if the other team messes up and like and uh you know throws a game because that happens a lot in like even all elo even diamond one that happens a lot you saw us like almost throw the game because we get really cocky and at least diamond one like people in diamond one they know how to take advantage of like the slightest exploit of a mistake so be very careful about that and i guess in lower elo like a lot of people are like a lot worse at that so you know if you're losing in like bronze I think you lost the game because it's very easy to get your advantage back because people are dumb and don't really understand what they're doing. So not to insult most bronze people, that's how most people think in bronze. Like their bronze people have very bad game sense. Uh, but anyways, that's topic for another time. Uh, laning phase with me and Vayne. Uh, we sucked a lot early because Vayne took a lot of early punishment for no reason, and she died the first blood to Twitch, which sucked because Twitch had a very big item advantage on her. But the Viking helped out a lot, and we eventually was were able to you know, carry the game after that, which is really nice. So, you know, we kind of lost early, but then we kind of came back later on the lane, and that transitioned into just us, like, just completely decimating them in all the lanes, but we still barely won that game. So that was a very close game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, there's a lot more exciting than most of my other games, because most of my other games are either, like, a complete landslide win or landslide loss, but this is, like, you know, kind of in the middle. So that was pretty fun. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys later.